Hello, everybody. Welcome to the first State of the Moonion, where we talk about recent cryptocurrency news for the month, updates on the cryptocurrency subreddit, and all other sort of related things we want to do in a pretty quick format. I'm Justin, or Samsung Galaxy player. And I am Rider of the Storm. We are your two representative cryptocurrency moderators on for today. So not, now, now you have a face to some names. Um, just want to give a quick update on the cryptocurrency prices since our last moon week to start. Uh, so first, Bitcoin is now up from what it was before, around $50,000. It's now over $60,000, which is pretty fun. Ethereum went from about $3,400 to about $4,500, which is its new all-time high, beating its previous all-time high of about $4,200. And of course, the news that people can't stop talking about, Shiba Inu coin is now number nine at a market cap of approximately $37 million. And Dogecoin is right behind it at number 10 at about $36 million. So Ryder, what, what's going on here? What, what should people do for takeaways? Uh, all I can say is, isn't it crazy? The power of a meme. Um, or the the power of social media, uh, the power of Reddit uh, and Twitter. Uh, it brings a lot of people in, and I think you see that in, in these coins, and you're seeing that war kind of take place between these two coins right now. Yeah, if you would have told me in like 2016 that we'd have a Doge versus Shiba war, I, I would have been <laughs> in disbelief. But here we are. Um, here we are. Quick note of everyone, of course, that uh, finding the next big coin, so to speak, is something some people make a ton of money on, but other people do not make a lot of money on. So be very cautious. This is not yes. financial advice, of course. Um, I'm going to go now through the uh, overview of the government governance and distribution polls for this, this moon week. You have only about one more day to vote on, on some of them. So you should do this as soon as possible. This is one of the most important use cases for moons. So first is CCIP 19, which is disable, uh, to disable live posts. This hasn't quite passed, but it's very, very close. So if you want us as uh, moderators to disable live posts, uh, make sure you vote. Uh, CCIP 20 is to reduce contribution points gained from link posts by 35%. So if you post or any individual posts uh, to the subreddit uh, with a link to somewhere else and they get upvotes, those upvotes will be weighted about 35% less than a comparable self post. That doesn't have enough moons to pass, but you're certainly still welcome and encouraged to vote on that for or against. And then one that uh, was closed by accident, uh, just because we accidentally set it to three days instead of seven, um, was to temporarily sort comments by newest first after a post is submitted for about an hour, I believe. It was, it was an hour, right? Not 30 minutes? Um, I know we went back and forth. Okay, hour. That's so, correct. So uh, that was our fault. We'll have to resubmit that next month or something for the next moon week for you all to vote on. And then there is, just for fun, a moon's enhancement prioritization poll. The Reddit admins, the people who work for Reddit themselves, we don't work for Reddit, but Reddit has some uh, goals that they want to uh, do with, with the community points program. And so you can give them feedback and what is most important to you in that poll too. So that's the overview of what you all should vote on, remember that you get additional moons by voting in at least one, and you get further moons by for each additional one you vote in. So make sure that you get those those votes in as soon as, as possible. Any comments on that, Ryder? I, I will only say it is absolutely important to vote in those polls. This is your opportunity to guide the direction in, in which uh, all of these are distributed and, and, and how those community points work and, and what we can do for you. Absolutely. It's very important that you vote. <laughs> that should be the takeaway. Very take important. <laughs> yes, exactly. Very. Um, we want to quickly go through some of the subreddit changes. We include under the Moon Week post now a, a pinned comment for State of the Subreddit. We find that this is pretty effective. Um, one thing is that we saw an increase in referral links. <laughs> referral links are very strictly banned <laughs> in the subreddit. Uh, the Bots that we have will not take kindly on you if you post referral links or even if you just solicit the whole, hey, you know, you could contact me if you want one. <laughs> like action is going to be pretty significant and severe in those areas. So 
please, please, please do not post them. Do not be coy in asking for them or providing them. We really need to keep the subreddit clear of spam. We saw that Coinbase did a, a new referral program, which resulted in quite a few people getting automatically banned for posting those. So we've, uh, you know, it took a lot, lot of time to sort out on our end. So please, please do not post referral links. <laughs> yeah, you're almost better off on that one to have a mod find it because we're more likely to give you a, a seven day ban and be lenient where the mod's likely to uh, to be quite brutal. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So it's, best just not to post it at all. <laughs> and then we also saw an increase in manipulation attempts. Um, so what I want to remind people of is, is you know, our separate rules. Um, rule three is on manipulation. We're watching this very closely. So if you have any reports on people engaging in manipulation, make sure you message the moderators and we can take a look at it. And then I also want people to be reminded of rule five, which is our content standards rule. We have to apply this one relatively flexibly. You know, we you saw recently that we were getting a lot of self stories, for example, in the subreddit. So we had to be more aggressive about removing most of the self stories so that the entire front page wasn't just a bunch of self stories and so forth. Uh, I, it's important to remember that not all of the content that people want to post will fit <laughs> on the front page of one of the largest subreddits in the world. So we really encourage liberal use of the daily discussion thread. We were able to post more casual things and given how active it is, you're still going to get people who look at it, upvote it and comment on it just by nature of that receiving over 10,000 comments a day, really no matter what's happening. So um, yeah, it's important for people to be familiar with the rules, but we wanna make sure that despite being an enormous subreddit where everybody wants to post all sorts of different things, that the content that, pe that, that provides useful discussion, shares the most important news, is making its way up to the top of the subreddit for people to see. And sometimes that means removing some content that we feel would best fit in a daily submission. Yeah. Um, the daily thread actually, um... I'd like to see a lot more uh, posts that, that that sometimes do get taken down uh, that really should be in the daily thread. I think the daily thread can have a lot of deeper discussion than it does have. So I'd personally like to see it, and I think that's the right place for it. Absolutely. Um, we also want to draw attention to the fun events that we had <laughs> over, over the last month. So we had three formal scheduled in advance and, and you know, pinned AMAs, and we had two impromptu AMAs <laughs> that sort of came last minute. All of these, of course, are subject to the verification program that we have. I'll get to that later. Uh, but we had one on on-chain analytics with Daniel Ferraro, um, who is the head of marketing at Into the Block. You, you can see the comments there. It was, it was very exciting to look at uh, a lot of the analytics. Um, then we had an AMA with Metal, which is a company that has all sorts of different cryptocurrency purchasing and trading and, and different products you can use on your phone. Uh, so they, and they have their own token too. So you can read about the AMA there. And then we had an AMA with the founders of uh, Ave Gochi, which of course is like a, a pet, <laughs> sort of that you get a digital pet that you can buy. Um, and they, they said that it was a DeFi plus NFT project that was pioneering the frontiers of play to earn and blockchain gaming. Um, one thing that's important to remember is that we never charge money for these AMAs. We just look to make sure that they're interesting. And even though we don't vouch for anyone who has an AMA, of course, we want to make sure that it's like a legitimate company or a legitimate project, ideally. Um, we also had two impromptu ones. We had one with, with uh, the CEO of KuCoin who uh, responded and uh, basically responded to allegations about the exchange and was trying to offer uh, an, an insight to what happens behind the scenes there. Um, and then we also had a fight for the future. That was different groups. For example, people at Engine, Age of Rust, uh, and of course, fight for the future that were just talking about Valve and why they felt that uh, Valve should reverse their ban on blockchain and NFT content on Steam. So those are the AMA events that we've had before. Um, Ryder, which ones were your, you know, the most interesting in your opinion? I, you know, I honestly, I find all of our AMAs interesting when we get those sorts of people on board to come on our subreddit. It, it, I mean, I could pick one out and say something about it. Um, but I think just that we're generating that kind of interest and those sorts of folks willing to come and spend their time with us, that to me is the interest in itself. I'm just glad we're we're getting those sorts of people coming in. 
Yeah, I think it's it's fantastic. And speaking of that, we have one up, you know, coming up tomorrow, um, which is a Reddit talk event. This is like Clubhouse, Twitter Spaces, Discord Stage. They're a dime a dozen at this point. But uh, yeah. tomorrow, Kevin O'Leary is coming on Reddit Talk. So you should definitely make sure to keep <laughs> keep tabs on that. I'm sure it's going to be a little lively. I feel like that's kind of his brand. Um, but it'll be it'll be fun. And, and make sure that you ask good questions, comment. Well, we, we should be able to make a pretty big event of that tomorrow. Um, so I, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing wherever that will go. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a fair way to put it. <laughs> I, I think you're right. I think lively is the right, the right term. I, I think it will be. And, and I think it'll be interesting and, and it, it falls into that. It, it's bringing a, you know, that kind of attention to our subreddit. And I think that's good attention and we should garner more of that. And I hope the community really engages in it uh, so that we can bring more of it. Yeah, sounds good. Um, so make sure you attend that. <laughs> Moving <laughs> on, um, we like to, as moderators, highlight at least one of the posts that we found to be very interesting. Uh, one of these was by Pseudo Happy Hippie, <laughs> who posted about the Bitcoin rainbow chart and did some statistical analysis on how to fit things better and just really diving into it in particular. To those who aren't familiar, it's the idea that you can kind of do a logarithmic rainbow with different bounds of whether you should buy or sell at certain points. And uh, he looked into the theory and had some comments about it. He posted that a week ago and we, we just felt it was important to highlight. So thank you, pseudo happy hippie. We like to see really well thought analysis posted on the subreddit. I know everyone's like, we want good content. Well, this is an example of someone who took the time to do it. So thank you very much. We tip them moons as a result. Um, and hopefully other people are encouraged uh, or you know, to follow their example and post similarly good posts. It certainly got a lot of attention and good feedback from uh, from redditors uh, also. So thank you, thank you to them. <laughs> um, two other, yeah, two other things that I, I, I want to highlight too is uh, number one, we have new merchandise. So on Cipher Market, we have a whole section on the cryptocurrency subreddit. The goal was to make merchandise about cryptocurrency that wasn't exclusively about. Bitcoin or Ethereum or have some other coins logo on it, which is kind of lame. So I have this one here where it's a burning cryptocurrency logo that says in it for the tech. I think it's pretty funny. <laughs> and I also have a HODL mug. So um, if you purchase stuff for, through them, they'll put half of the, the proceeds towards supporting the subreddit initiatives. So we encourage you to look there. Um, we had a community focused contest where people could submit designs and the winning deci designs received moons uh, for us to be able to use the submission. So that went that pretty well in my opinion too. I think everybody got, got a lot out of that. Um, and then uh, everyone is encouraged to ask if they want to do like an event. We always are looking for people to fill content in the subreddit and outside the subreddit like on YouTube or Discord or anywhere else that we have a platform. So uh, one thing to help aid us in that is that we made a user verification program so if you go to our meta subreddit, you're able to see the verification program. We've had quite a few uh, organizations go through this now, including large cryptocurrency exchanges like Gemini and you know other small projects. Large, you know, anyone in the cryptocurrency space should be able to get their their account verified if they're involved in the project. That way, we're able to build a little bit more confidence in the subreddit, make it harder for people to pose as others. <laughs> And also we have some cool features for verified accounts too. So that if people write about your project, project, for example, you'll be able to get notifications um, in order to <laughs> get, get, uh, get notif notified right away. Um, so that's pretty cool. Do you, we verified um, at least two dozen accounts at this point, haven't we Ryder? Oh yes, for sure. Uh, if we're not a little bit over that. Yeah. So it, I think it's been pretty good. And it's also helped formalize the AMA process a bit easier too. Um, I also want to quickly uh, plug the the other subreddits that we have, um, because it's not just the cryptocurrency subreddit that is involved in the, the mission of making a strong cryptocurrency community across the board. Uh, we also have the cryptocurrency meta subreddit, which allows us to take discussions of the cryptocurrency subreddit off of the subreddit and make it just about crypto and put them somewhere else. This has really helped our governance model. Um, so please, please, if you want to have an impact on the rules that happen in the cryptocurrency subreddit, make sure you participate in the cryptocurrency meta subreddit as well. But we also have other subreddits. Uh, crypto devs is one of them uh, for developers. <laughs> crypto markets for people who want to trade it. 
uh, cryptocurrency memes. So R Ryder, how about I hand it off to you on this one? Because I know that you have some, uh, you, you like seeing memes, but they're not on the main subreddit anymore. So what right. do you say about that? Yeah, I did bring this one up to, to make sure we threw it out there because I do see it in the daily. I, I see people talk about it. Hey, we need a place to, to throw our memes and have our jokes. And um, I've often put it out there. We have a subreddit for it. Uh, so I wanted it uh, to be part of this discussion. It's out there. It's out there just for throwing those memes out there and having a good time and having a laugh. That's why that subreddit exists. So go for it. Of course, follow the rules as usual, but uh, that one's a little more, uh, you know, free uh, and a little more playful than than cryptocurrency is. So that's what it's there for. That's the playground. Uh, go play. And we yeah, even give <laughs> <laughs> do follow the rules, but we even give um, moons to the top. Uh, submissions there every month, right? There is some, there is some uh, contests and stuff that go on over there. You might want to go check out. Yeah, so we do care about mm -hmm. moons. We just don't want the whole sub to be flooded with them. And and we had a time where, I mean, there's a lot of history here, but ultimately we decided to make the the memes on their own subreddit. So check that out. It's a fun time. Yep. Yep. Um, and of course, on the other end of the spectrum, we have crypto technology, where you're able to have discussions just on technology and prices isolated from those discussions. So check that out too. Um, but yeah, that that's the network, so to speak, of uh, cryptocurrency subreddits. Um, but beyond that, of course, we also have other things such as our official Discord. Uh, that's linked in the main subreddit, along with our official Twitter and our official Telegram. The Telegram is the newest of those, and we're only at about 1,100 members now, which pales in comparison to both the number of people on crypto telegram and the number of people on our subreddit so let's let's get that number up but i think it's it's good to see a, a lively community starting there too finally after, after it's been a bit um so any other comments writer on uh, on important things that have happened in the cryptocurrency space or in the subreddit in the last month I think as uh, as far as the subreddit, uh, we've seen it not just in the last month, but over the summer and the year, we've grown a lot. Um, I hope the community has seen that that we've been uh, working hard uh, to handle that growth, and uh, we need your guys' support as well. And I think we're going to continue to grow and uh, work together to uh, continue making all of our family of subreddits a, a great place to be. Sounds good. Thank, thanks, Ryder. Uh, thank you, everyone, for watching the first State of the Moonion. Um, I want to thank Thin Course Four Zero Five Four for that name. We 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 liked it a lot and we decided to run with it. Um, so thank you for that. And uh, we'll catch you again next month when we have hope, you know hope to have these every single Moon Week so that we are able to to cover a nice nice overview here. Um, but yeah, let us know what you think either in the YouTube comments or in the Reddit comments or any other place that you'd like to comment on it. We want to hear from you and make this community uh, yours. So thanks, everyone. Take care. Take care.